So in order to be ready to do a little, a little additional work, I'm going to actually import some additional surveys. So if you remember how we did that, we went to the Import tab in the Find bar. We said Files. And I'm going to go back out onto my desktop. And I'm going to choose some different surveys, this time from a different school. And I'm going to import all these surveys from this classroom by uh, pressing the Open button, telling it to import. And this time, the files all went to the survey folder because it was the survey folder that I had last been, I had last had open. And for instance, if I wanted to put something in the journals folder, before I imported the, the items, I should click the journals folder, and that's where they'll go. Of course, if I get them in the wrong folder, it's easy just to drag and drop them where they need to go. But at the same time, you know, why cause yourself problems? So I want to open the one that says Haley. Now, I want to show you how we can get ready to do some auto coding. The idea here is that it is possible to automatically code dependent on the styles that have been applied to a Word document. In this case, the document has not been formatted in Word, so I'm going to show you how you can format in NVivo. So the idea here is that we want every question in the interview. This first one is, how often do you read the books in your child's family backpack? I want that whole question, I want to give it a style. In order to change the style for a document after it's in vivo, the first thing you have to do is to click to edit. And there's a little blue tab right above the file in detail view. So I'm clicking to edit, and immediately we see a whole set of styles appear right above the document. So I'm going to go to each of the questions. I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to make the questions heading one style. So I click. Now it's heading one. And I want all of the answers to be in normal style. And it turns out they already are, so I won't have to do anything to them. But in each document, in order to code like this, I'm going to have to go through and make my questions be heading one style. And luckily, this, this is a small data set, so it's not too bad to do this. For, do this. Obviously, this takes a good deal of time, and if you had a large data set, this would be extremely time consuming. So the way to solve this problem, when you know you're going to have data, autocode could be useful. You simply make a template and make sure that you're typing all of the data where the questions are in, say, heading one style, and then all the answers are in a different style. In this case, they're going to be in normal style. To do autocoding, the idea is we'd like to make a node for question one, and we want all of the answers to question one to be coded to that question one node. And then for question two, we want all of the answers for question two across all the participants to be coded to question two and so forth. So we're not actually going to move the data. We're just going to code it, or in this case, auto code it to a node for each of the questions. So I'm choosing starting with Diana down through Haley, because those are the ones where we have made a difference in the way the paragraph styles are. I'm going to go to the Home tab. I'm sliding over to the right to the coding group where it says AutoCode. I'm clicking that button. Now it says Welcome to the AutoCode Wizard. And it says automatically code text files based on paragraph styles, paragraph numbers, or speaker names. We want to use paragraph styles. Remember we, we applied styles to the paragraphs that were the questions for the, for the interview. So I'm going to click Next. It says, welcome to the AutoCode wizard. Select a paragraph style to use for the coding. Now in this case, uh, because I've been playing with this before, both paragraph styles were already over there. But we'll see, it says available paragraph styles are normal and heading one. We want to choose heading one because that's the one that will be our interview questions. We don't have to do anything with normal because that's just the style that comes after our heading one style and that will be coded to the heading one categories. Now we're ready to do some auto coding. First thing we have to do is to select the files that we want to auto code. So I'm going to select Diana through Haley. Those are the ones that that where we have changed the paragraph styles. I'm going to come up here to the home tab in the um, finder bar 
and slide across to the coding group where I find the auto code icon. I'm clicking on the auto code icon and we get the auto code wizard. We can code by speaker name, paragraph style or paragraph, and in our case we want to use paragraph styles because we've pretty uh, carefully applied a heading one style to each of the interview questions and then we made all the answers be a different style. In this case it was normal so that we're using paragraph styles. So I'm going to click next and over here in we have in the left hand box it says available paragraph styles and in the it, then in the right hand box it says selected paragraph styles because I've already been coding with this sum heading one is already over there but I'll show you how it got there so I'm going to move it back um, when you start you're likely to find all of your paragraph styles on the left I have normal and heading one I'm going to click on heading one because that is the one that is for each of the interview questions. We want to code to the paragraphs with the heading one style. Then I'm going to click the right area arrow and move it over to the selected paragraph styles box. We don't have to do anything with normal because it follows the heading one paragraphs and that the program will know that whatever follows the heading one style will be coded to the the node for head, the heading the paragraph with the heading one style. So I'm going to click Next. Um, it asks me whether, it says select a location for the nodes or cases. Do you want to code to an existing node or case? Well, in this case, no, I don't. I did not, I did not create a new node. So I'm going to say I want to uh, create a new node or case to, to code to. And I'm going to call my new node auto, auto coding. And I'm going to say Finish. And just that quickly, the auto coding has actually been done for that for those files that I had selected. And the way we can check this, we come to the codes, the codes folder. Underneath it, we see nodes. We're going to double click on nodes, and here we find the auto coding folder that I created. I'm going to click on the little plus button right next to the auto coding node and we see a whole set of child nodes or subnodes. Notice that each of these subnodes has a little tilde next to it. That is the symbol that lets us know that a category was created by autocoding. It was not created manually where we looked at every item in it and decided what, to, what uh, category to put it in. Instead, it was created automatically by autocoding, and that means there could be some cleaning up that's needed. So that's really helpful that the program actually continues to mark those categories with the little tilde. If you want to browse one of these nodes, I'm going to double click on it. It's going to open for us in detail view. And what we see here are all the references to that were coded to this, this question one node. And you can just see what we've got. Here's question one and below it we have the answer for all of the different interviews, the six interviews that we look auto-coded. Also notice that at the top, before each entry, there's a, a live link that's blue. That's how we can go very quickly back and forth between a node, this is the question one node, and then we could go back to that interview file if we want to see the context for what we has been coded to the node. So I'll show you how that works. I'm going to double, I'm going to click on there it's taken me directly back to the Kalia node. The Kalia, it's taken me directly back to the Kalia file and it highlights the, the portion that was in the node that I was looking at. Now to get back to that node I can come up to the top right above in detail view, click that and now I'm back.